Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys the Vivaldi web browser, which is probably the most awesome alternative to the Opera web browser that you've never heard of. So, most people currently use Chrome or Firefox, but I think Opera is pretty cool as well. So I'm really excited to see some of the features in Vivaldi. Vivaldi, of course, being kind of a branch off of Opera. Um, came out a few years ago, but just came out with its newest version, which I'm currently checking out. So anyway, uh, in Opera, as well as Vivaldi, you have the sidebar over here on the left, uh, which you can use for adding things like Facebook Messenger pop-out, uh, pop-up side, um, WeChat, uh, the ability to kind of add an aggregated news feed there, and you can also add in your own custom web panels. And when you go to create a new page, or in other words, the start page, where you have the speed dial here, you have a bunch of icons set up out of the box, uh, which of course you can completely customize. So these are basically easy one-click links to access different web pages that you like around the web. So if you want to load up Facebook, it would be as simple as starting a new page and then clicking on Facebook. You don't necessarily have to have them in the bookmarks, but of course there are bookmark toolbars. Um, now one difference between Vivaldi is there's a bunch of default ones. Uh, if you don't like those, you can of course just select them all and trash them, or you can look through them and uh, actually use some of these sites out of the box if that's your kind of thing. So one cool feature that I haven't really seen much in other web browsers is when you are loading a new web page, it'll actually show you how much data that page is using, uh, which I think would be really useful if you happen to be running on a mobile data plan. It can be the case with laptops. Unfortunately, uh, the Vivaldi web browser isn't out yet on Android, but I would hope to see it there sometime. Um, so we're going to load this Wikipedia page, and you'll see what I mean. We can just hit enter, and over here at the far right side, it'll show you how many kilobytes it's going to take. So actually, I'm kind of curious, how much does Wikipedia take to load? 155. That's actually very, very low for a web page. Go figure. Um, yeah, that's pretty useful information to know, actually. So beyond that, I want to pop open the uh, options menu. So we'll go to the basically the main menu there, tools and settings. And uh, you can see some stuff about the theme. So out of the box, um, well, the basic theme looks like this, but I'm always big on dark themes. You have eight options here, and they're all pretty solid to go through. So if you want a different color scheme, or if you're like me and you just prefer to stick to the dark one, um, you can customize that out of the box. Um, in addition, you can actually have scheduled themes. So depending on what time of day it is, it'll show either the light theme or the dark theme if you're choosing. Um, so you can kind of schedule a theme to uh, change there. And if you want to actually customize that, you just click on these drop downs. So maybe during the day I want Redmond instead of uh, the basic light. You can do that or hot pink, whatever you want. And uh, the general idea there is that during the night, of course, um, having darker colors is going to be easier on your eyes because there's probably not as much light going on in the room. Um, so you want to reduce your eye strain. So an interesting way to navigate inside of Vivaldi right out of the box is to use gestures. So in the main uh, settings menu, you can find this mouse tab where you have all of these gestures, which are basically mapped ways of moving, moving your mouse around. And I would imagine if you're using like a... Um, I mean, as you can see, a trackpad, like if you're on a Windows, but for a tablet PC, then you could do the same thing here with your fingers. But the idea here is that you have some other options for opening tabs rather than having to manually click on everything in the interface or use hot keys on your keyboard. So let's actually go ahead and uh, test that out right now. So allow gestures is out of the box. You hold down the right mouse button, you perform a gesture. So let's do that and open a page and wow. Uh, pretty simple. Cool. So one new feature that they just added is the ability to group tabs together uh, at the top of the screen. So if you're like me and you might get 30, 50 tabs, it can get really out of hand. But what you can do to kind of reduce uh, the clutter while not having to actually open a new instance of the browser or in other words, a new window, um, is you can just kind of select these tabs um, and group them together. So holding shift down, and then right clicking, you can scroll down on the menu and choose new tab stack with selection. So what that does is it basically turns seven tabs into one tab. And now whenever you hover over that tab, you can easily click on those seven tabs. Um, 
So it's kind of like having folders for your bookmarks, except now it's for your tabs. So if you have a lot of tabs, it might keep you a bit more organized. Now, before we wrap up the video, if you are uh, kind of customized to the Facebook Messenger and WeChat thing that you would have over on the left, I think it's only fair that we prove that you can, in fact, do the exact same thing inside of Vivaldi. So in web panel over here, I'm going to copy paste messenger.com and uh, you get this mobile page, but all you need to do to actually change that to the uh, desktop page is right click it, show desktop version, and now you have the pop out of uh, Facebook Messenger exactly like you would in the uh, upper web browser. So I'm pretty happy that I was able to come across this web browser while I was looking through the options that were out there today. Uh, Vivaldi, it's a cool alternative to the Opera web browser where you can pretty much keep the same layout, but having a different web browser with a couple extra features added on top. So I've been Chris. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Vivaldi web browser. I'm going to keep testing it and using it. Maybe there'll be a future video. Uh, but in any case, I will see you guys in my future video content.